Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before this video starts, okay, 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 you listening, you listening, you understanding, okay. Before this video starts, no, I'm not a furry, and what the fuck was number two? And yes, I identify as a girl. Wow, wow, I'm sorry. Sorry to the people I disappointed. Sorry, family, peace. So today I actually want to talk about a thing I never get to talk about. The characters that actually made me realize I'm trans. So I was raised by women. I was raised by women and the men in my family were something. I'm just gonna say I've always had bad experiences with men because that's kind of just how I am. I've been more lenient towards women. Like I lean more towards like the feminine side and everything like that. It's just how I grew up and that's how I kind of like stay I guess like I've never had a big connection with men in my life like the big scrawny people scrawny why did I say scrawny? big like muscular people that like people wanted me to be in life and everything like that like I was not a fan of that shit I'm not gonna go into too much detail about my life but let's just say my life was kind of fucked up and I was pressured a lot into things that I really didn't like I got talked down to I got Verbally abused, I got physically abused. Dude, I had a lot of trauma in my fucking life. Anyway, to finally get on topic, I know I've been dancing around the shit. I'm sorry, it's just how I operate, okay? This is how I create videos. I kind of freeform this shit, okay? So Lady was basically my first introduction to women. <laughs> to women? Lady was my first introduction to like, animated women basically i have a whole video on lady and the tramp the remake and you should definitely watch it because you know it's a very very good video and i spent a lot of time on it and i don't even think i talk about too much about my connection to lady but like overall it's a good video you should watch it anyway i'll just say that lady basically is the base or like the thing that kicked off me starting to feel like something's up you know i started to feel like a connection at first it was an attraction and i know I know how that sounds! I was a little kid, okay? Little fucking seven-year-old me. I was attracted to this little dog. I was a seven-year-old! Ain't nobody in the world can tell me that's wrong! As a seven-year-old. Okay, now if you're in your, like, 20s, you're, like, an adult, and you're seeing these, like, animated animals as, like, sexy or, like, attractive or you want to, like... Dude, I'm not even gonna say it. I want you to find the nearest river and swim to the bottom. Put your life on the line this instant! I don't give a fuck if it's fictional. It's still the idea of like an animal. You're doing something to an animal and I'll fuck with that shit, okay? Okay, so since I didn't want to talk too much about Lady, I'm gonna be talking about my second character, Dixie. Now you see, Dixie! She got some class. If you don't know who Dixie is, Dixie is basically this character from Fox and the Hound 2, which nobody knows really exists. <laughs> it was during the Disney uh, direct-to-DVD or direct-to-video era or whatever. Uh, someone knows what I'm talking about. But, like, it was a sequel, and, like, they just wanted to push it out. It, it was, like, no quality to it whatsoever. But Dixie is the main reason you watch Fox and the Hound 2. Also, I kind of like the songs in there. People can tell me all they want. They hate country. That's absolutely fine. But like, you can't lie. Some of these songs got the bangers. I don't care if the go in, bro. Ah! So I usually don't tell stories. I'm not like a person who finds like stories too interesting. Like my life, I have a lot of shit going on in my life. But like, I'm not really a person to like tell stories. I'll just like tell like snippets, you know, here and there, you know. But when I was a little kid, I was like... Dude, I don't know. I want to say like 11 or 12 at this time. I don't I don't know. I was brought to a Kmart with my mother and um she was shopping and everything like that. And um so my aunt, my aunt who worked um in electronics and everything like that. They had this little display like it was like this portable DVD player basically. And it was playing um the latest Disney movies. And um <laughs> I remember this so vividly like this is so important to me. It's a fucking core memory. I sat there. Well, actually, I didn't sat there. I was standing up, basically, because uh, there was no chairs or anything like that. But I sat there, like, looking at this, like, DVD player, this small little TV screen, and I was watching Fox and the Hound 2, and as soon as, like, Dixie came on, I felt something in me. Like... I can't, I can't explain it, dude. It was her mannerisms, her voice, her style, like her looks, like 
I loved everything about that. And it was a little bit more than an attraction. That sounds so wild to say. It's not like that. It's not like that. But it sounds so fucking wild to say. Like, I felt more than an attraction. I felt like... I wanted to be this character, you know? Like, every time she was on screen, I absolutely, like, adored the movie. And to this day, I still feel the same way. I didn't buy the movie or anything like that, because one, the movie was ass, and two, like, I was poor as fuck, like... <laughs> You think a little black kid like me is gonna fucking pay for anything? No, I'm fucking poor. Motherfuckers really think I got money, huh? You yeah, know, I never bought Fox and the Hound 2. Um, we rented it a few times from the library, but that's about it. But like, it was so stuck in my brain, like what Dixie looked like, everything about it. And like, oh, it, it, it just, it made me like really, really feel some type of way. I can't explain this in words. Like, I've tried multiple times to like try and explain this, but like, uh, it, honest to God, it was just like a feeling to where like, I wanted to be this character. I felt like something deep in me was calling for this character, you know? It, it sounds so cringy, but it is what it is. The third one is a little sus, I ain't gonna lie. It's Scratte from Ice Age 3. Now, I was a huge Ice Age fan, and my favorite character was actually Scrat. Like, I love this little squirrel to death. Like, <laughs> uninteresting. Like, the character wasn't, like, too interesting or whatever like that, but, like, they were the character I loved the most out of the Ice Age, um... There's a lot of Ice Age movies, fuck. But out of the Ice Age saga. And, um, I saw this movie in theaters. And, luckily, I saw it alone. Because, uh, when Scrat was climbing up that, like, mountaintop or whatever like that, and, like, um... <laughs> Before I continue, the characters I like and enjoy are, like, bitchy, like, um, elegant, very sassy women. Those are the characters I enjoy, and that's... <laughs> That's that's what this whole list is basically about. <laughs> so when Scrat climbed up the little mountaintop, and you know he 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 he, <laughs> he peeked behind the tree. Okay, he put himself behind the tree to hide from whatever was whatever was doing its job from the acorn. And then you know he turns the, he turns around the corner to look at like the tree or whatever like that, and he sees Scrat. <laughs> <laughs> sweeping in a very interesting way that that was a very iconic moment for me this is this is so fucking bad dude gate <laughs> was a very good design for a character <laughs> even though she's very like stereotypical she's like a gender swap of scrat you know with like the big hips and everything like that the lipstick the nails because like People don't know how to draw women in any other sense. It made me feel some type of way as a little kid. And I was just like, I love this fucking movie. And it's, it's so hard. It is so hard to say this is my favorite character from the Ice Age franchise. Because people look at me and they're like... You know, you say you're not a furry. It's sickening! Man... We're gonna, we're gonna stop. We're, no, 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 no. We're gonna, we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop. By, by like this part of my life, I started like realizing a trend that like these three characters. Well, have, there's four, but like you know, at the time, these three characters like they're, they're they mean a little bit more to me than the normal person. Like I started to actually care about these characters, and also at the time, I was acting a little bit more like gay feminine but like i kind of kept that shit on the down low because one i live in america two i was a little kid living in america i already experienced like a lot of racism and like hatred growing up and so like i kind of like turned that into self-hatred and like learned how to make jokes out of myself because like i kind of hated myself and i was like kind of fine with it so like i i made a lot of jokes about that and so i didn't necessarily want to like Put another target on my back if that makes sense like these feelings i had as a kid i suppressed them way down because 
they weren't really seen as okay at the time. I mean, realistically, they still aren't, but you know. <laughs> I like never wanted to bring too much attention to myself as a kid because it was a scary world out there. I wanted to like blend in as well as possible. And so I learned a lot of complacency and I learned a lot of suppression. And that's kind of how I got through life. But now that I'm an adult, I mean, I don't really give a fuck. Before I say anything else, I want to say Annie Hathaway, if you're watching this, please sit on my face. Now, I'm not going to be weird or anything like that, but I'm going to say, like, Annie Hathaway. I don't know why. I just have the hugest crush on her. Like, her voice, her voice during, like, this one scene in, like, um, Rio. Holy shit, it just made me fall in love with her. And like, honestly, she just looks like very beautiful and everything like that. Like, if I were to rate her, I'd give her like 10 out of 10. Well, 9 out of 10. Honestly, ratings are kind of straight. I'm not gonna do that shit. The last character that gave me this awakening is Jewel. <laughs> There's not much to say that hasn't been said already, but like, I will say, I don't know what about this movie, but this movie just wanted me to be like, uh, I wanted to be a bird when I like finished this movie. But then I kind of grew the fuck up. I'm like, hey, haha, nah, that ain't me. And that wasn't like a diss or anything like that. I just personally not like the biggest fan of that shit. If people like it, they like it. That's absolutely fine. But like, it's just not for me personally. Anyway, that is the four characters that made me like awaken to what I am. Not a furry, but trans. Going back to these movies, I can absolutely understand like why these things made me who I am. Like a lot of things just fell into place during my childhood. Me being raised by women, me like loving dogs and animals and everything like that. Um, watching all these animated films. Like I love animation. I love animation so fucking much, dude. And like once I started going on my own journey, started to live for solely myself, instead of like other people around me because holy fuck dude was i forced to live for like everybody else for the longest time it sucked so much ass so i started living for myself a lot of things started making sense and then after like i went through like therapy for like all the trauma i've been through it just made more sense and like i don't want to like shove me going to therapy down people's throats like i know i said it like what three times maybe three four times this month and i'm not gonna like force it down people's throat or anything like that it just happens the things that i'm talking about like i've been emotional and like a lot of things that i've been watching have kind of connected towards therapy so i'm just talking about it a lot that's about it like it just, it just fits the subjects i'm going into that's about all anyway that's it have a good